Hi everybody, welcome to 2OG's Hook and Stitch Nylon Style. I'm Antoinette, your yarn hostess, with the mostest, nope, I don't have the mostest yarn because I know people have more than I do, but welcome. Welcome to our returning fiber family, new fiber family, and if it's your first time here, feel free to join our fiber family. We have a lot of fun. Um, this is a podcast about knitting, crocheting, Tunisian, life on a small island, uh, sometimes I take you to work with me when I'm on the, working on the ferry. We do a little vlog. The weather's gotten nicer. It's warming up. So now I'll be able to do more of that outside on the deck. When I don't have cars on because we have to, you know, be careful people's privacy. Um, I have gift ways, uh, tutorials, occasional review, um, all kind of fun things. And currently I am approaching 1K. Um, exciting, um, hard to believe, and I'm also coming up with my three-year pot anniversary, which will be August 11th that I release my first video. So hoping to do something really special for that. So if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, stick around, check it out. So today's video is some happy mail and an acquisition. Um, the one acquisition you guys that won't be very long because you knew I was ordering it. You remember when I got the Premier DK colors from AberdeenWools.ca and I had ordered nine more. Um, I apologize ahead of time for the crinkling. I'll just push this out of the way. It's my mic. I got it on an arm now. push that back down I haven't figured out how yet I'm trying to find the right location for this to get good audio um, I've got a cam link coming to try and do better video I'm work it's a pro it's a work in progress so this is what I ordered from Aberdeen's I ordered nine more of the strata DK colors. I had had a $15 off coupon. That's why I ordered nine. And the other reason I ordered nine is they ship in bags of three. <laughs> so that's my um, reasoning for ordering three. And now I've got, I think I've got uh, 12, I believe, of these, which will give me. Yeah, I've got like over four, I think 4,000 yards. Hold on. We'll go behind the curtain. Okay. What's behind? Yeah, like my, I was outside sweep, uh, vacuuming the pool. That's why I have such a fancy appearance. Um, I've got actually... 13 of these. There's 383 yards, so it's going to be a big project. It's not going to be a blanket. This is too soft for a blanket. And the colors, I think, warrant like a long cardi cardigan for the fall. I'll just have to look and find the right project. So that was my happy mail that I, or the acquisition I had gotten. Let's get this out of the way. Ugh. And we'll put this under here. Put it with the rest of my receipts that I have. And this oh, is from little sister, Darlene. Her and I did sort of kind of like a, I don't know if you want to call it a yarn swap or we just sent each other a box with stuff. <laughs> um, she got hers already. Um, so, oh. shall we open it and see what's in it? all these canvas post boxes and I reused 
I reuse my boxes. That's why I'm not cutting it. Phew. Okay. Oh my. She said she stuffed it. She said she stuffed it. So. Oh, she always has such beautiful cards. Darling, we got to worry about getting you glasses. I am your big sister, but beautiful. Do, 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 do. Nope. I wouldn't say I'm ugly, but not camera, not camera friendly. Oh, that's beautiful. Butterflies. They're gorgeous. Uh-oh. It says in front of me is my first part of a two-part yarn shipment. She couldn't fit it all into one box, but she sent the best first. <laughs> Hope I have lots of fun finding free, perfect patterns for it all. So I cannot wait to finally give you a giant size hug. Oh, I can't wait to. She's coming down this summer, and I am so excited. Darlene lives in Nova Scotia. I live in New Brunswick, and we're about between six and eight hours apart, if, not, if I don't take the ferry. Which is very, 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 very expensive so oh my when Darlene and I were talking one night we were doing a video chat and we were showing some yarns and I thought I have all this purple yarn I like purple but Darlene loves purple that's her favorite color so I started putting together a box with purple yarns different types of textures different types of yarns so yeah and she knows my palette. Here is some Merit Sventex. Uh, this is Glacier Black. And, well, let's open it up. That's my problem. I'm not doing a yarn giveaway. I uh, don't have any more room. So, these are the three colors. And that would be a nice project. This is, it's not black. It is, um, this is made in Canada. It's a Canadian brand. 100% acrylic. 50 grams. This is Pinecrest. This is Glacier. And this is cream menthe. And this, oh, I'm already thinking Tunisian two color. And there are yards here. So tell you how many yards? 50 grams. It's a three weight. Oh, it doesn't give the yards. 50 grams so that was the first thing in the box my heavens so I'll put these in here now and we'll just zip lock this up I have it's this week. Um, I'm getting every, up every morning at 4 a.m. And I'm going into work with Hubby because I'm off this week. But I'm training um, on engineering. Starting the boat up. Shutting the boat down. Computer work. All that good stuff. Because Friday I sit for my exam. So. Tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh my goodness. little dancing Canadian bear. We'll just have to take this out of here. We'll find we'll put, find a place to put her. Um, it, I'll put it on the windowsill because it's solar powered. And it, it's a, a little bear that's solar powered. When the light hits it, it, it kind of dances. So I'll put this on my windowsill and we'll get it to charge. Right now I have the... Um, 
Bristol board in the windows to cut down the glare. It's very sunny out. It's actually very beautiful. It's, uh, let's see, what is the temperature? Um, just trying to find the temperature here. It don't say. Oh, well, I'll look later on. So anyways, these things are like jam-packed. We've got some Premier. Ooh, this is pretty. This is Premier Toy Box. Now, you remember I showed you the toy box I had in Hula Hoop. And this is... Um, frisbee. It's almost like an Aqua. Come on, focus. I don't want to focus. It's really pretty. But there's uh, five of them in here, which is 550 yards approximately. So that'll make a nice project. I haven't started. Darlene knows my color palette. Most all everybody knows my color palette. Greens and blues and colors of the ocean. I mean, if you could see this right here if this doesn't look let's go up here if this doesn't look colors of the ocean I don't know what it does hope it didn't make anybody seasick there you go hello okay Bamboo Joy. Okay, now this is Bamboo Joy. Oh, no, yeah, nope, this isn't Bamboo Joy. This is Premier's Anti-Pilling Bamboo. There's two of these. Oh, it's soft. Chunky. But I mix textures. And I mix um, weights. Like, I'll put a three and four together. And this is Capricorn soft brush double knitting made in spain it's made of 50 percent nylon 50 percent acrylic 50 grams 130 meters which would be 138 yards roughly and it is say it's a number two this is oh this is so pretty fuzzy isn't that pretty i make a pretty hat Oh, you know what else this will make? Mitts. Those will make pretty mitts. And I've got lots of patterns for mitts. We had talked about some Nick Crate yarn she had. And she happened to have some that I have. This here is citrus. I don't even have to look. This is all Nick Crate yarn. That's citrus. And then I have I have this too. So I've got four of these so I can make a really nice project. I'll just build some. This is Knitology, um, Flying Trapeze. It's a worsted merino, silk, and alpaca. I got uh, 1,200 yards of this, so I can make something really nice out of that. And then this is Audine Wools, and this is Leaf Eater, and this is Merino Cashmere. And I got 604 yards of this. Isn't that pretty? I can't put Nick Crate into... I got, and I got two of those. I can't put Nick Crate into a blanket. These are definitely made to be a wearable. So we'll put this over here because I have a canvas bin up there that's all Nick Crate. Oh, oh, oh. I see these all being used together. These are knit crate. I canceled my knit crate because it just got to be too expensive when you did the Canadian exchange and the shipping. That's what got to be really expensive. Let's move this down a little bit here. So this was the one that was um, Creative Grandma had in it, and it was called Sky. And... Jeannie from On the Hook Crochet did a project with this. But that, isn't that gorgeous? The blues, some purple, real pale purple. And this 
is merino, uh, 80% superwash merino, 20% tensile, sport weight, and there's 700 yards of this. And then got four of these. This is a worsted. Yeah, this is 40% merino, 30% silk, 30% alpaca. So I have got 600 yards of this, and I've got 700 yards of this. So I've got to make a nice project with, but tell me those don't go together real good. So that would make some nice color work. Very beautiful. Beautiful. Darlene, these are gorgeous. I'm going to put this in here. Put that down there. And then, this is more Nick Crate. I'm going to have to get another. I'm going to have to put Nick Crate on the shelf. I guess I'm going to have to put Nick Crate on the shelf. I'm going to put it in the box now. I'll have to do some rearranging. Now, I had this color in uh, diamond, which is a, a, a very, very pale, 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 pale tan. Like, almost like a grayish tan. And she had it in the color ruby. And I'm thinking the two colors will go together. And this, and this is on their Sugared Sport. Um, it is merino and nylon and stellina. And there are there's 600 yards here, these two. And then she put in... I'm surprised she, she likes purple these are these are purple it, oh this is cotton stitch hustle uh organic pima cotton i see a summer top and there is for 532 yards and uh, it's hard it's i need more light on this but it's like a it's a it's a cotton it's 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 nice cotton and then This is 85% merino, 15% silk. DK, there's 600 yards of this, and it's called Enlightened. And it's by Uru Yarns. Isn't that gorgeous? So, that was the happy mail from Darlene. Thank you very much, Darlene. And I don't know what you mean by two shipments, but, oh, I can see my hands are going to be in heaven working with these yarns. Like I said... When I pull my knit crate out, I will the box will start looking for patterns to put. You know, the yarns. Like I said, this is I'm I'm trying to work on getting um, some of this these whips whips in progress done, and put this right in here. I'm just going to put this underneath the table for now. And we will just close this. And I'll shove it under the table for now. Um, I just want to show you. Last night, I finished the Farrah Shaw, the 86 rows that Courtney had designed in her pattern. But I had told you I was going to be adding Butterfly Alley in prism and navy so i started it but i will show you the shaw and then the next time you see it it's when it's going to be done but it'll give you an idea of how the colors are working up in the um prism it's huge it's a big shawl but that is it's half of it, it goes past my butt that is what i got done now, I'm having to go on the fly and adapt this pattern, the Butterfly Alley, because the pattern grows four stitches each row. Two on each end where you, where you do your two single crochets into the first stitch and last stitch. And then your two doubles in the middle, it grows. But that's to give it the triangular shawl uh, shape. So stay tuned for that and what other whips I'm, I'm going to be trying to finish up. So, remember, hug, smiles, and happiness. Pass it on, make the world a better place. Here saying bye to you from Deer Island, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Love you all.